We're going to start chapter three today. Now, you know how long chapter two homework was. Chapter three, if you were doing it manually on paper, would only take up two pages to do four problems. So this is probably one of the easiest parts of the whole accounting process. We're going to do what we call adjusting journal entries. So from now on, I'm going to be talking about adjustments and journal entries. And just so you know, journal entries are where I debit and credit something. That Go back to Chapter 2 and under, to understand what a journal entry is. Okay, so we have two types of accounting. We have accrual-based accounting. Oops, sorry, didn't mean, to, didn't mean to go forward, guys. Hold on, let me find my little laser pointer. Here we go. We have accrual-based accounting and cash-based accounting. Accrual-based accounting has, basically, the explanation for accrual-based accounting is I report revenues when I earn them, regardless whether or not the customer has paid me. So accrual-based accounting, when I actually come out and provide you a service, is when I put the revenues on my books. Whether you pay me then or whether you pay me later has nothing to do with cash. So generally accepted accounting principles, and we talked about this in Chapter 2, GAAP only recognizes accrual-based accounting. The other type of accounting is called cash basis. Cash basis means, listen, I don't put the revenue on my books until I actually get the money from my customers. I don't subtract the money from my books or record the expenses until I actually pay for the product. So for most for most of this chapter, all of this chapter, we're going to be doing a cruel based accounting. Well, if I'm going to do doing a cruel based accounting, I'm going to have to go back to some principles that we learned in chapter uh, chapter one actually. The revenue recognition principle says revenue is recognized when you provide the service, regardless whether or not you get cash or your customers will pay you later, which is accounts receivable. We also are going to do the expense recognition principle that says, hey, my expenses are incurred when I actually use them, not when I pay for them. So we're going to use these two principles. It's also called the matching principles. But for accrual-based accounting or accrual int uh, adjusting entries, we're going to do accrual-based accounting. And we're going to do something called the adjusting process. We're going to do adjusting journal entries. These are the easiest because there's only six of them. They have rules to them, which I'll tell you the rules if you listen in here. Uh, and that will help you tremendously. So in the adjusting process, what happens at the end of the accounting period, and this could be the month or the year, whatever, I have to make some adjustments to certain types of accounts. For example, some expenses are not recorded daily. So the supplies, if you remember, I buy them at the beginning of the period. At the end of the period, I check to see how much I've used. That would actually be an adjusting entry. There's some revenue and expenses that happen as time goes on, but I haven't actually incurred them. So we're going to do the adjusting process. And what happens in the adjusting process? We're going to do actual adjusting entries. Okay. And here's rule, here's rule, here are the rule, three rules for the adjusting process. Rule number one, never involves cash. I'll say it again so you can write this down. By the way, guys, when I say write it down, write it down. Rule number one. Never involves cash. Adjusting entry rule number two. Always dated the last day of the accounting period. Always dated the last day of the accounting period. And rule number three is right here. All entries will have at least one income statement account and one balance sheet account. So every journal entry will have one account that's on an income statement and one account that's on a balance sheet. So this is introduction to the adjusting process and the fact that we're going to do adjusting entries. Remember, there were rules in here that I told you to write down. Anytime I tell you to write things down, write it down. 